there are many different reasons why you may want to use a VPN. Maybe you want to hide your IP address to download a movie from the Pirate Bay or to bypass internet censorship that is based on geolocation. For example, some Netflix movies are only available in certain countries. Also, if you're in the public place, you might want to use a VPN for security reasons to avoid man-in-the-middle attacks when connecting to the internet using open Wi-Fi access points. It is also irreplaceable for remote work or for some who need to connect to the cloud and clean the logs on the server because they got a pager duty alert that the disk is almost full. It all falls under client to side VPN connections when you need to connect an individual device such as a laptop or mobile phone to the company network. VPN can also be used to connect multiple private networks. For example, a company may want to use a VPN to connect on-premise data center with one of the public clouds such as AWS. In this scenario, all the nodes in both networks can communicate with each other. We call this type a side to site VPN connection. Let's see how it works based on the OpenVPN example and a typical home network. To connect your house to the internet, you would sign a contract with one of the internet providers, such as Comcast. Then use either their modem and router, or you can get your own. That router creates a private local network in your house. To connect to that router, you can use a Wi-Fi or internet cable. For example, when you connect one of your devices to the Wi-Fi, each of them gets a private IP address received by the DHCP server installed on the router. It also configures your router as a default gateway. That means any requests from your devices that fall outside of your local network must go through that default gateway. Also, your router gets a public IP address provided by the internet provider. That IP can be statically allocated to your router if you pay extra, but typically it's dynamic and can change at any time. Now, let's say you want to go to the internet. When you open your browser and type google.com, your request goes from your device to the router. Then to reach the internet, you need to get a public IP address. Your router acts as a NAT and translates your private IP to the public one. And then using that IP address, you can reach the internet. If you type in Google, what is my IP address, you get the router's public IP address. The same thing with other devices. They all share the same public IP address when they need to reach the internet. Now, let's Let's see how that process would work if you connected to the VPN. Each VPN server would also have a public IP address that you use to connect to the VPN. In that case, it's shared between all other people who use that VPN provider, not only your devices. In the case of OpenVPN, when you initiate a connection to the server, it will create a virtual network card on your device and ask VPN server to get a virtual private IP address to establish a tunnel. That virtual network will be established only between your device device and the VPN server. Then instead of your router's default gateway, it will use VPN as a default gateway. It's up to the client to decide if you want to route all the traffic via VPN or simply a subset of requests based on the target IP addresses. Let's imagine that we want to route all the internet traffic via VPN to hide our real IP address. Now, if you want to go to Google again, you will be routed through the VPN server instead. If you ask Google for your IP, it will give you VPN's server public IP address. Also, most VPN providers will encrypt all the network traffic between you and the resource that you're trying to access. It's optional, but a common practice for security reasons. To use VPN, you can install the VPN client directly on your device or you can install the VPN client directly on the router. Then all the devices connected to that home router will automatically use the VPN. Also, keep in mind that it's impossible to stay fully anonymous using a VPN. All VPN servers must know and keep track of your public IP address that can be routed to your home to route traffic back to you. It works like a net on your home router, but translates your public IP to the VPN's public IP. Another option that you may consider to stay anonymous on the internet is to use a Tor browser, which is free. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.